Hi all, I got Asra today. She's going to be my foot model. Uh, we today are going to specifically talk about the proper dorsal cutaneous nerve. Asra, do you want to introduce yourself? Um, well, I'm Asra and I'm a third year podiatry student at Western City University. That's excellent. Now, we have some other students here. And who are you? I'm Isra. I'm a fourth year podiatry student from QUZ. And my brother here. I'm um, Dave, I'm a third year podiatry student at Western Sydney. <laughs> Dave is so cute, man. Okay, so the dorsal medial um, nerve that goes to the hallux obviously runs through here but originates from up here. So we are going to talk about the superficial perineal nerve. If you look at the lateral malleolus, it exits probably about 10 centimeters above it. And then as that nerve comes out of the foot, out of the leg, it will then branch into the lateral, lateral dorsal cutaneous nerve and also the medial dorsal cutaneous nerve. That medial dorsal cutaneous nerve will also have a branch that goes to the second and the third toes, but the one that we're going to focus on goes along here and runs all the way up to the nail and comes along here. So we operate on a, a young girl who was getting compression of this nerve. She had a moderate bunion and you'll see in the video that when I was dorsiflexing and flexing the foot you can actually see the nerve flicking over the medial eminence of the, the metatarsal head. Don't confuse this proper dorsal cutaneous nerve with Joplin's neuroma. So as the tibial nerve underneath the abductor hallucis branches into the medial plantar nerve and the lateral plantar nerve, the Joplin's neuroma is actually a branch of the medial plantar nerve, so it is plantar medial. This is dorsomedial, so they're completely different. How would you test for this nerve clinically? The patient is normally complaining of paresthesia along this section. What is that, paresthesia? Pins and needles, tingling, ants crawling. You can get other nerve symptoms, burning, numbness even. It can be associated with hallux valgus, so if you have a bunion, the medial eminence of that bone and the shoe can compress the nerve, causing pain. Clinically, the way I test for it, you can do, you can tap the nerve, so start up here and see where the symptoms occur. Her symptoms occurred right over the most prominent part, so as you do that, you will elicit Tinel sign. Sometimes I'll even just scratch the nerve with my nail and it'll do the same thing. Or you can even just compress until you get to the area of most pain. During the procedure, we also move the skin out of the way so you can actually see where the, that nerve runs. So, if you have a patient who is complaining of severe, can be quite severe bunion pain, but the angulation is not that great, and the movement looks really nice, is really nice, and you look at the x-ray and there really isn't any arthritis in there, consider the nerve being compressed. So it doesn't always have to be caused by degenerative joint disease, osteoarthrosis in the joint. It doesn't have to be related to a massive hallux valgus angle. It could be just compression of that. Thank you. Is it, um, is it, can you get it? 
Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. Wait. You ready? Is it, um, is it, can you get it? Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect.